All right, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Manager, is back again. In this video, I want to talk about the video page. So it's a video about video. Amazing how uh, I can come up with fun stuff like that. So um, here, the video page, I actually cheated and um, used a plugin. There's a, a good, I tried a bunch of plugins. I found one that I really like that displays the videos nicely and then has a load more button so that I can have an archive page here and um, you know, ultimately keep loading more and more videos. My internet's slow right now because I'm uploading something and I have terrible upload bandwidth. Um, but we can continue to load more videos um, as the archive shows up. I don't think the videos, the videos are not um, searchable in this plugin, but that's not something I'm really looking for right now. Ultimately, I might go and extend the functionality to have a searchable archive. Um, but this this are this just pulls from a playlist or from individual videos So I'll kind of show about that real quick and in, in the what I used um, If we go into the plugin section here, you can see I installed this U2WP YouTube uh, I guess is maybe it's supposed to be um, That's the uh, the plugin I'm using Here's the details and the icon uh, that you can see hopefully if it ever loads because again, I'm uploading and things take forever um, let's see, I guess not, uh, you're not going to see the icon. I think you'll see the icon. There it is when I go to the general settings. Um, so I've, I've installed it, I've activated it, and now I need to go and create a short code. Uh, but first I need to create the video page. So let's go into a new tab here and let's go to the video page and Let's uh, edit the main template there. Nope. I want to edit the video page. And then I'll edit with oxygen and I'll come back when this is fully loaded. All right. So it's loaded. We're back here. And so this is the content area for the uh, video page. So this is where I get to edit that. Uh, notice that I have a, um, you know, I'm on the video archive page. I have a title here and then I'll put the short code there and then uh, a couple buttons. Um, so just need to build out that framework real quick. So let's quickly add, I will add a section in there. And then within that section, I will add my heading and then I will add a short code. Is that under helpers? That's probably WordPress. WordPress short code there. So this is a short code. It'll render. Uh, you'll see that in a second. We can have it not render or render in oxygen. Um, I'll show you why that's a nice feature because it doesn't render. Some of them, most of them do render properly. This particular plugin does not render properly, so I just don't render it. Um, I'll show that in a second, but let's go ahead and make this, you know, um, archive video. Uh, and remember, I got to go back to the section level and uh, center everything. And then uh, I'll take a little bit of this spacing out so that it looks good. So there we've got, oh, and I've got to add a couple buttons at the bottom. So let's add, um, let's go back to the main content and add a section at the bottom. And to that section, let's add a couple buttons. And then I'll make that section, uh, stack them a column wise, and then uh, let's put space between so that they end up apart. And then this could be, you know, more videos. Uh, and I think this was, um, something like uh, highlighted. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to build one page here. The main website has three pages in the video section has featured videos, most viewed videos and video archive. They're all the same thing and they all link to each other. Um, this one has a couple videos. This has the about, this one has like four videos. This one has like six videos and this has all the videos. Um, so I'll just show how to do this one real quickly. Uh, so back in here now, I, I've got my, my template set up. Again, we would go in and modify that for, um, you know, for each, each display size, but I'm not going to do that right now. Showed how to do that in previous videos. 
but now I need to go hot show and get this short code and show how short codes work with oxygen. So let's go back to my plugins here and I'll go to, to YouTube and um, I'm just going to go to the short code generator. You probably have to tweak things, a few things. I'll probably screw this up. So I have to enter an API key um, in the settings page, in the general settings. So you have to go and get a U API key. Um, here it is here. And so I'm going to go and enter my API key. I'll enter my API key and then come back um, and, and we'll see how we can set things up. All right, so I've entered my API key there, so that should get things running. Now I can go back to the short code generator. And now it's loading, and now I can. I want to do a multi-video one, and this is where you just go and grab it. I'm just going to grab their actual their actual links here. Um, and show how I insert them. So I'll verify those videos and then that's going to build something out, the short code out for me at the bottom here. So I'm going to hit pause. Well, oh, there it is. So I did that videos. You can see there's the three. Um, and then you can set your options right in here. Um, general grid, three columns, 12 videos per page. So you can do all that stuff. And if you make any tweaks, it just changes the short code, which is really good. Because the um, you know you can see that uh, I'll go back to this is the actual website here and uh, I'll edit this page. This is the the not the dev this is the production website right now. So I'll go into Oxygen and actually grab the short code that I'm actually using. All right, so Oxygen loaded. There's the page right there. You can see this is the actual structure. I've got the section, the heading, the short code. I'm not rendering the short code because you can see when I do render it, um, when I do allow Oxygen to render it, it, it doesn't load the CSS, I don't think. So it, it, it normally this stuff works out, but for some reason this one is not working out. Uh, so that's why I'm not rendering it. And so you just get a blank space there. Uh, but it'll run around the, the front end. But you can see that this is the short code, and so I'll just grab this short code here, and I will load a text editor. Uh, let's see, let's use this text editor here. And so you can see it looks very ugly, but really uh, it's just because I've got a ton of videos in there. So if I go and get rid of a bunch of the videos, uh, you know, say this many of the videos, now you can see it's quite simple. Um, the type is videos. Here's the IDs of the videos. I want to load more button. I'm doing the column three. The template's a grid. The player mode, um, I want the videos to pop up. Um, uh, you know, no scrolling, autoplay on the video. Uh, and I want that rel equals zero so that it doesn't show, uh, you know, other people's videos. So if I go and actually take that short code and I go back to my development environment here and this is now I'm on the dev site I'm not on the production site so I'm going to add that to there and it's going to get screwed up so but I'm going to get rid of it so it doesn't show here I'll save it and once it's saved we'll go back to the front end nope that's not the front end let's load up the front end And there you go. It's it's loaded up. Um, so I, I I must have a setting somewhere on the other one that turns off the makes the um, uh, you know the title and the description show up in the screen. So that's what's happening here uh, on the main Frank website. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me fix that. All right, here we are on the main um, video page. And you see my titles are showing up on the screen. That's just a configuration somewhere in the YouTube WP uh, settings to get it to do that. And that's just something you'll need to play with to get how you want it to look. But this is how I wanted it to look. And just notice when you click on it, it pops up with a video player here. I like that. Um, some of the other ones that I looked at, 
you know, they had a main centered player here. And so you'd scroll down and you'd click on a video and it would start playing, but you wouldn't see it, which just annoyed the heck out of me. Um, you know, it didn't force it to scroll back up or anything, or if it did force it to scroll back up, then you got to scroll back down to figure out where you were. So that's what I like about this one is you can get through all the videos and wherever you are, uh, you just click on the video and it pops the player up as a modal and, um, you know, it works at it all the screen sizes. A mine. A mine. So, uh, and then just click off of it to, to get rid of it. So that's, that's what I really liked about this plugin. So, uh, you know, that's a brief overview. I didn't intend to go too deep into that. Um, but, um, you know, that's the plugin I'm using to, to get the videos to show up. Probably do something more extensive in the future with some custom programming, but for now it, it works great. So again, Terry Caliendo, dedicated managers. Uh, that was just a simple use of a plugin to create a, a video archive page. Hopefully that was a little bit helpful for you. Again, uh, dedicated managers is always here for you. If you need any help with anything with a project or uh, if you want us to take over a project, feel free to give us a call. Hit us up on the contact page. Call us at our 800 number or fill out the contact form. Again, Terry Caliendo, dedicated managers, signing out. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe to us as well uh, on our YouTube page, uh, youtube.com slash dedicated man. Well, I don't have the dedicated managers link yet. Let me just paste that in there. Uh, oh, that didn't work, did it? Here we are, dedicated managers. This is our icon. Uh, this is our home page. So feel free to contact us, uh, you know, follow us, please follow us, get that subscriber count up to the point. And we think we got to get a hundred subscribers before we can get a custom, um, custom domain name. So I'd appreciate all the following, uh, would help a lot. So again, take care, have a great day. Happy, uh, website building and coding.